We went to bed May the 10th, 2018. Nowhere in my mind would I ever imagine what we woke up to. Overnight, when the dike breached North Ruckel in Grand Forks, downtown was half underwater and all of the floodplains up the river valleys filled up. It was a lot of chaos. The speed with which the water rose took the community off guard. All of a sudden, the only way to travel was with a boat. The canoes and kayaks, the helicopters, the search and rescue teams, the people, the community was completely inundated. The town was truly devastated. It was very tough. There were 1,500 addresses affected by the rising waters, so we evacuated over 3,000 people. And then within the city, there's over 400 homes that were damaged and destroyed. I remember feeling like this looks like something you would see on TV and you just don't think it's possible to happen in your small town. But the town got together and worked with each other. People were helping friends and family members, co-workers. You saw business owners sandbagging each other's businesses. People came together in a lot of different ways. Everyone around us stayed the long hours and wanted to help in some shape or form. No matter how young you were or how old you were, you're out checking on your neighbor. Everybody was in it together. I just remember that feeling of, we're gonna be okay. Emergency management isn't just about things breaking and then fixing them. We want to design for both transitions from recovery to mitigation and preparedness. Rather than waiting for the emergency to happen, we're going ahead now to protect for the future. We have a framework and a template, and through floodplain mapping, we now understand where the water's going to go. That has created such a sense of empowerment. We've got our new official community plan that has tools to protect floodplains from development and the city purchased over 70 properties to build offset dikes and then create a floodplain to allow room for the river to spread out and slow down. The flood mitigation infrastructure is helping contribute confidence. The town is working really hard to rebuild and revitalize the downtown core. We're falling through as a city and I think that helps heal some of the stresses that were there. There's more to be done, but we know that we have gone through disaster and continued to move forward. What happened to us in 2018 wasn't easy, but we've come a long way. We leaned on each other and we supported each other. And we've been incredibly fortunate to have the level of support we've received from the province and from the federal government. This downtown court came back and came back looking better than it was before. Grand Forks is a good news story. And it's a story, I think, that can be taken to communities that are starting to deal with what that's going to look like for them. We know what we need to do for and with each other. We make it happen year after year after year. And that small town optimism is what we're really proud of.